So good morning. We are headed to Port Orchard today with my brother-in-law, his brother, and his girlfriend. So it's the first time we're going to have three people on the boat overnight. Um, we've had a few friends say there's nothing to do in Port Orchard, but hey, we're going to find out. So come along for the journey and we'll see what's there. It's not the nicest day, so it's supposed to clear up, and we are headed to over there today, which is where Port Orchard is. So, luckily, winds are light and variable. It's really calm, and hopefully, it stays that way until we get there. So, I'm trying to figure out what kind of bird that is, and where is it? not in this tree. It must be down there somewhere. So we figured it out. It's not a bird. It's this little sea otter pup. What's the matter? What's the matter? Are you hurt? Okay, what? Oh, there's another one. Oh God. The whole family. Holy shit. Well, I don't want to get involved. Uh -oh. We're headed to Port Orchard, which is right over there. It looks like we're going to get some clear skies. We got Cal, Tracy. God and Kirk. It's gonna be fun. We arrived in Port Orchard around 1.30, just in time to check out the Farmer's Market, which runs every Saturday during the summer from 9 to 3, right outside the marina. They have all kinds of vendors, including hot dog, olive oil, they had homemade ice cream, pulled pork sandwiches, you name it. You were not going to go hungry here, that's for sure. A Reese's peanut butter cup brownie. Oh, was it good? Really good. If you're looking for a cornhole tournament, look no further. They had that too. If you'll have the flowers at Pike Place Market, just come to Port Orchard. They're beautiful. And of course, we got to do wine tasting with Seabeck Cellars. It was perfect. They did have black ring spirits too. What I didn't expect about Port Orchard is how cute the downtown was. They had all kinds of shops, especially if you're into antiques, they've got you covered. There were quite a few, so you definitely could make a day out of it. We explored all around, even found this old telephone booth. It was pretty fun. We decided at this point to try to make it a pub crawl. First stop had to be the brick house. They had live music in the courtyard and oh, the cheers, cheers. Cheers. definitely asked for their tater tots. They're to die for. Next stop was the Naughty Mermaid Bar. Kind of a quirky little place. Definitely a hole in the wall. So check it out. Not super fancy, so don't expect much. But it was fun to grab a drink until our next stop. From there, we headed to the Port Orchard Night Market. This is another farmer's market that's happening at the nighttime. It has face painting, had live music. 
They had a wine and beer garden, and some of the vendors were new, and some of the vendors that were there during the day came back at night. So if you didn't get your goods during the day, you could get it there at night. Actually, it was a really cool thing, and it was fun to hear the music from the marina when we headed back to the boat. So this has been a great port, port archer. You might make fun of it, but there is so much happening. It's got huge fairways, as you can see, and there's so much happening. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can do this. There's a whole festival. See all those lights? That's a whole festival we've just been at from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Actually, I think it's 10. And then the town had all kinds of activities. It is a fun, this place is happening. Do not miss out on Port Orchard. Okay, so we're at the Port Orchard Marina. It's eight o'clock in the morning. Apparently this is how they wake people. <laughs> morning we are still in Port Orchard normally we would get up and go and today they're having a um, Mustang car show so there's like 300 Mustangs so since we have an hour before checkout we're gonna go check it out you can hear them behind us so just another cool thing that Port Orchard has So they have mustangs everywhere. They're in the middle of the street. They're over there. It is Mustang Central. Wow. Mustang mayhem. Mustang Sally. So we're leaving Port Orchard Marina. It does get a little tight right through here when you come in and go. It's definitely only room for one vessel, but once you're kind of through, you are through. It's definitely a fun place, I'd recommend it. One thing to note about entering and leaving Bremerton or Port Orchard and Sinclair Inlet is that the water can be a bit turbulent. This is why you want to make sure you come in at slack tide or ebb tide, because if you're going against the current, it can be pretty rough. Our boat had no issue whatsoever, but I would say if you were in a kayak or a smaller boat that's under, say, 20 feet, it could be a little bit of a challenge, as you can see by our footage here of the waters. We finished our weekend with yet another great trip to a new port in Puget Sound and the Pacific Northwest, all within a few miles from Seattle and a beautiful boat ride away. As always, thanks for following our Boating Journey blog and stay tuned for our next episode. Not sure what that'll be yet, but I have a feeling it might be about water. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up, make a comment down below. 
hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell on the side so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Also, you can follow us on our blog at BoatingJourney.com and follow us on social media on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Boating Journey. Thanks, and we'll see you again.